ladies and gentlemen, it's your boys, Two Bros and Brick, and we are back with The Bachelor Season 22 cast preview extravaganza. 29 contestants this year, that means 29 full bios to read. Yeah. We got a lot of dumb viewers. <laughs> we love it, but right. you're dumb. We got you covered though, man. So We're going to do the work. We read all the bios. We're going to give an award to each contestant for their defining characteristic. Some other information about them that you're going to need to know before night one. That's right. If you want to know what we have to say about Ari, you can go ahead and watch the video that we made about him. Otherwise, we're getting into the girls right about now. All right, first up we have Allie, a 27-year-old personal stylist from Lawton, Oklahoma. Now, we got something pretty darn cool here to kick this thing off, right? Uh, we got our first contestant, Sponsor. That's right. Sponsored. Who knew? Two bros is a brick. Sold out That's right away. That's the international sound of money. Is <laughs> boy -yo -yo uh, we got this one sponsored by Kroger. You know Kroger? The off-brand uh, grocery store yep. company? Yep. Yeah. Uh, there we go. We got Kroger's most generic contestant award. Oh, that is actually very fitting for this contestant. I think some of her answers include like NYC is the most romantic city, uh, like love, compassion, and truth being like the most important ingredients to a right. relationship. It was right. like, I, I reading her profile, I'm like, I don't know who this is. That's right. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot that shows right. off who Allie what is. What defines her is how generic and down the middle she I is. I mean, kind of, yeah, yeah, that really is true. Yeah. Uh, one of the things she does mention though is that she wants commitment in a relationship, mm -hmm. right? That's one of the most important parts. Right. Well, kind of ironic, considering the two photos of her that have been released. Uh, one, she's wearing a necklace. Two, she's not. So clearly, not very ready for commitment. Well, the defining part of that is that it was the same photo shoot. Yeah, so exactly. In between pictures, she's like, I don't know, is the necklace good? Should it stay? Should is it go? A little too much necklace? Yeah. No, yeah, no. Um, so anyways. That was a good southern accent that we just did. <laughs> <laughs> not ready for commitment, and uh, I don't think she's going anywhere. All right, so next up is Amber. She's a 29-year-old business owner from Denver, Colorado. We don't know what kind of business, though, right? A little, little, not very specific here. Not yet, uh, but I'm going to give her the Horatio Alger Self-Made Myth <laughs> Award among the entire cast. Now, she talks early about how, wanting to have lunch with Steve Jobs yeah. and Kim Kardashian. She talks about how her business was an unlikely success because it had no marketing or advertising behind it. Mm -hmm. Steve Jobs, unlikely success. Tripping acid in a garage in right. Cupertino. Right. Kim Kardashian, unlikely success. Starting out with the sex tape, right? Mm -hmm. And I think she's very obsessed with this myth making behind like, no one believed in me and this business succeeded beyond all odds. When really she probably just sold weed in college, <laughs> moved to Denver once it became legal and set up a dispensary, right? Yeah, so, so, okay. so you think that her business is a dispensary yeah. and that she's selling weed legally now. Really? I mean, she's saying business owner. I, I mean, think she's keeping it vague on purpose. Yeah. That's... I think she's trying to keep herself away from the feds yeah. and still chase love. I hope that she makes the hometown date so that we get to go back and she gets to show Ari her new, you know, grow facility. Yeah. And he's just like, whoa, I didn't know this was your business. I know, and then she smokes Dang. it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got Annalise, a 32-year-old event designer from San Mateo, California. And if you're wondering to yourself, what is an event designer? Is that like an <laughs> event planner? <laughs> no. No. Do not not make that mistake. Very different. We made words. the mistake of Googling that and we basically got punched in the face. <laughs> they were The results were like, how dare you mistake us? <laughs> Who knew event designers and event planners were just at each other's throats? I mean, it's a vicious war time. out there. That's right. It uh, pales in comparison to South Central <laughs> LA. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so the award that we got for Annalise is the Unproven Commodity Award, right? Yeah. A little bit of the spirit of Silicon Valley, which San Mateo is near. Yeah. Um, there's something about this girl where you look through her bio, and to be honest, there's not really a whole lot that stands out here, and yet, you and I were both left with this overwhelming feeling of like, there's something about this girl, she's gonna do well. Neither of us could point to an answer and be like, that's the showcase of her personality, or right. that's where she's gonna add value to the season, right. and yet we kept coming back to it thinking like, God, what is it about her that exactly. makes us think that she is a contender? Exactly. Kind of a Bitcoin situation, right? You can't really <laughs> prove that it's gonna work, but hey, it's so far Somehow it's been working. it's working, and we reach out to the sponsor of the segment. Uh, they have no interest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and next up we got Ashley. She's a 25 year old uh, real estate agent from mm -hmm. West Palm Beach, Florida. Right. Uh, she is going to earn the When in Doubt Just Guess See Award. <laughs> and where I'm getting this from is the SATs. You, the most common yeah. answer in the SATs is always C. So if you don't know the answer, it's best to just put C. I have a feeling that Ashley's going to introduce herself to Ari, mm -hmm. and then when Ari sees her again in the house, he's just going to have a blank-ass stare and be like, I don't remember anything about this girl, let alone her name. Right. Now, it just so happens that Ashley ha happens to be 
statistically the most common name in Bachelor history. Yeah, right? it seems like every season we have at least one Ashley, maybe two or three. It's up there with Lawrence, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So what he should do when that happens, where he just blanks and freezes, I, he should just be like, hey, Ashley, and guess what? In this case, it's going to be right. <laughs> exactly, which, I mean, in this particular scenario, it kind of just sums up the idea that there's not really a whole lot to this girl, yeah. and you and I both think that she's probably going to be out very early. I think night one. Yeah. Okay, next we got Becca K, a 27-year-old publicist from Prior Lake, Minnesota, and uh, might be in the running for best photo of the season? I don't know, man. I mean, <laughs> it looks like she's trying to say something, uh, something that might not be very good with that face, and uh, I think she's trying to say, help me. And that's the award we got for her. <laughs> Becca, if you're in any serious danger, please reach out to us. That's I right. would say blink, but it looks like you've never blinked before in your life. <laughs> it's very much a lights are on but nobody's home kind of feeling. Exactly. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I, I wonder if she went into this photo shoot and somehow, someway, didn't actually know who The Bachelor was. Right, right, Maybe right, she was right. expecting to be uh, meeting Peter or Eric or right. Dean or somebody. And then right before they take the photo, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, The Bachelor's Ari. And she's just like... Oh, God. <laughs> How am I going to get out of this mansion night one? Exactly. Well, fortunately, I think that's going to actually be pretty easy mm -hmm. here. I don't think she's really going to be surviving much longer than night one. Right. But uh, I guess we're going to find out. And you know what? She is a publicist. And I got to say, you know what? Treat yourself like your client right. if you're a publicist. Don't let a photo of that be the one that circulates the internet exactly. and advertises you. Exactly, because we're confident that this is just a bad photo. Get right? Final Good edit over your photo. Good looking girl, just yeah. a bad photo. Unbelievably so, rough photo. Get final edit over that photo. Do some damage control for yourself, right? That's a good word. Exactly. All right, next up we got Becca M. She's a nanny from Fresno, California. Right. And, uh, but she's also a rock climber. Mm. And so her award today is going to be the 127 Hours Award for Biggest Rock Climbing Disaster. <laughs> and what I mean by that is in her profile, she starts talking about her dad as a hero. And then it takes a very weird turn yeah. into talking about how he knows what he wants and, and just goes out and grabs it. And yeah. it's like, it feels very vaguely romantic in a yeah. really creepy kind of way. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And so I think Ari's going to end up in a conversation with her at some point during this season, and he's going to want to cut his arm off <laughs> rather than hear any other vaguely creepy romantic comparisons to her dad. I like that, man. That's a good one. Uh, one thing that we got to note about this girl, though, is that uh, kind of interesting, her age is not listed. The so only one of the 29 contestants. Exactly. So... We got you covered in true Two Bros is a Brick fashion. Uh, we did some digging and we found out her age is 22 years old. Yikes. Which is young af, dude. Young for any Bachelor yeah. series, but especially one headed by a 35, 36-year-old Yeah, Inari. exactly, man. So I got to be thinking here, if she's 22 years old, what the hell is she doing on this show? Yeah. And I think that she is batshit insane is oh, what's going yeah. on here. I think yeah. she's the crazy one in this show. There's one every year. One every year she's going to be the one that's really stirring up the drama, be around for, you know, half the season and then finally get sent home. Uh, but that's my theory. Even if she doesn't start out as crazy, she might turn crazy because as 22, you are the least capable of handling yeah, this. Yeah, totally. The other reason she might be on that we're not considering and we're I think we're giving Ari a little too much credit is that he's a huge creep. Yeah. And maybe he's only <laughs> interested in girls who are 14 years younger than him. That's a good point, man. All right, next we got Bibiana, a 30-year-old executive assistant from Miami, Florida. And before we get into a award, can I just say, uh, more like a baby on it. Am I right, man? I mean, because, wow! I'm, I'm really disappointed that I laughed at that. Uh, <laughs> but I was going to say, I was going to be classier about it. I was going to say, of the people that we've introduced so far, she... To me, is the most attractive. Dude, she is a babe, Iana. I gotta she say, is man. Stone cold yeah. banging. She's man. a babe. Anyways, the award we got for her is uh, Ticket to Paradise because I think oh, that insane. she is going to be around this season long enough to where she is going to be a lock for Bachelor in Paradise, and that's about it. I think uh, you're onto something here because she's a, uh, lives in Miami. She's 30. Uh, I'm worried that her sense of like what a good perfect date is yeah. is like going out clubbing. Yeah, right. Yeah, which. which Perfect for Bachelor of Paradise. Very well suited exactly. for Bachelor of Paradise. She's a former Miami Dolphins cheerleader. She hates football, though, which is so interesting. Oh Am I right? God. She's like a contradiction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Doesn't really like her tattoos. Uh, wishes she wow. could be art. Wow. So, I don't know, man. Um, I think she'll what be a puzzle. A, yeah, exactly. What a puzzle. I think we'll see her in Bachelor of Paradise for sure. 